Uh, number 17 is the after sales service. This is the last item. <laughs> after sales service. This is so good. <laughs> after sales service. So these people, who are you calling these people? Are the ones that build decks for you. The, ones that, the, good, the good builders are going to have a better a better approach to things after the deck is all said and done too. They may do follow-ups. They may come back and check on the deck. They may have a phone to ask you how it is. They'll answer the phone when you call them. They'll ask to answer questions if you call them afterwards. They're they're in it for the long haul, not just kind of like wipe their hands of it and leave. Yep. Right? So whereas you get Buddy, Stan in a van to come in and do it. Mike on the bike. The, <laughs> Mike on a bike. Yeah. If Stan in the van gets a little overwhelmed, you might call Mike on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't need to bring your own tools. Just bring your bike. It I got the tools here. Stan left them. He was trying to get out of here so fast. Yeah. He left all his tools behind. <laughs> that we're, we're good, Mike. Um, Looks like he's got a stiletto hammer. Trade you for an alpha knife. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is number 18 and... Yeah, 18. So demand. These last three better be real zingers. Oh, they're good ones. Demand slash marketing to a hiring clientele. So if somebody is in higher demand, they may have earned the right to charge more for their services. And if you actually want them because they've marketed themselves in a certain way and they've done, like they have a good business and, and you want to hire them more, you're willing to pay more. Therefore, they can charge more if they want. Mm. Even over a guy that maybe necessarily might do as good a job as them, but they haven't done all the marketing and they haven't branded themselves a certain way to be able to justify charging a little bit more. Yeah. Right. Um, that's pretty good. That's, yeah. that's pretty number good 19 is design work or 3d designs. So a lot of these professional outfits now are starting to do this kind of thing. They're giving you a visual of what they're going to build before it ever gets built, which is a, a really, really good thing because it clears up that whole scope of work and what's included and what's going to look like. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. And that one job would have had no stairs on it. Your job. Right. That guy. What the <laughs> hell? Yeah. No, no, no. I need to get off the deck. So what's the plan? Yeah. I. Oh, so here's the thing. I saw a trampoline in your yard and I thought, silly to not use that every time you leave the deck. Yeah. Why not just jump on your trampoline? Way more fun. Um, <laughs> Here, but I'll it show takes, you. It takes <laughs> time and expertise to put that stuff together. So somebody's going to do a 3D design for you. Even a basic one is going to take them a couple hours to kind of put that whole render together. If you're doing something much more crazy, it could take days. Like it just like... It's different, and they may be charging for that as well, in like separately from the quote. But if they're doing a basic one that's included in the quote, well, that time has to be accounted for as well. Yeah. And number, we don't. I don't do enough of those, the three D design things. I don't do any of them actually. I've done none. <laughs> yeah. So for sure, I've done <laughs> not enough of them. Done. Those done zero, big fat zero. Uh, but they would clear up a lot of questions. Absolutely. The idea of even just getting the color. Correct on the house like that has happened, you know what I mean? Where yep. somebody thinks you're getting one color and it shows up, it's like, yeah, it's not the one. Boy, I thought it was gonna be, yeah, yeah. Google Anyways. Google reviews says final guys. Uh, not sure. He's yeah, referring go to ahead, exactly, give us one. Maybe that they've give earned her the right to. Yeah, has he given we us just, one? No, we need to swap reviews with him. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Go in there and review him, and then hope that he picked up on that and be like, ah, I should return the favor. So. Uh, anyway. How about he does one first and then we'll do, Ooh. Wait, you show me yours <laughs> and then I'll show you mine. Easy. Uh, <laughs> remember when I came in outside and told you that we had to record a podcast at one o'clock? Yeah. I showed Bryce. I walk out. Nobody listening. This is a, this is I a, showed this is a, Bryce the, uh, did you show him the gesture? The universal oh, signal for, <laughs> this is going to be something that you get when you tune into the Instagram during the recording. You're not going to see in the podcast, but I went out and I was like, he's in the forklift and I, he couldn't hear me. Or maybe I showed it. I was like, hey, podcast one th 130. And he's like, okay, what? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> this was a mic. Podcast. And all he could see Meeting is me going. Time. <laughs> he's like, you should uh, probably maybe rethink the symbol for podcast. Meet me upstairs, Wade. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, you. Or no, I didn't say podcast. I just went out and was like, hey, 130. <laughs> Meeting. Meeting 130. That's what you yelled. <laughs> okay. Uh, 20 is the permits. And this is a, this is a zinger. This is a good one because for yeah. sure, for sure, probably the, the stand in a van, Mike and a tr bike is not, <laughs> is not, I want to use Mike and a bike permanently. Now that's, I think that's a good one. Uh, he's not pulling a permit. More than anything. I hope that Mike rolls up here on a pedal bike Monday. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, and the permits, the permit process is, is important. And if a business is, is, you know, if they're a professional outfit that does everything the right way, they're also going to pull a permit for the job. And so there's a cost associated with that. It could be as little as a couple hundred bucks, but if it's a big deck, it might, it might be a couple thousand dollars. If this thing is engineered and there's mm-hmm. stamped drawings mm-hmm. and everything else, mm-hmm. we, we're roof. talking thousands now. Right. And so. Joe Blow, why are you 45 and the other guy's 27? It's like, well, I've got $4,000 worth of engineered plans stamped and permits that I pulled. So there's a start, right? And then all these other 20 things, 19 things, that's the rest of it. Mm -hmm. So pay up. Give me your deposit. Let's go. So there is a list of 20 things that maybe you're doing that you have forgotten to let your customer know that you're doing. And so they're having a hard time wondering or figuring out why you're more than the next guy. We talked about that, like the portfolio, when you present, when you present your bid, all of the things listed in there. Yeah. You could just list these things. Here's my insurance. Here's what I use for hanger nails. Here's oh, what yeah. I use for. A lot of these things could be cleared up in some sort of dossier portfolio thing. You could this present is a at the time and picture the of my stairs that I build. My stairs come mitered. This is my style. Yeah, that's a huge one too, right? And right. That, that fits into the fit and finish and a little bit extra and the yeah. craftsman's touch and whatever else you want to call it. They're G taped and they're ten ways to build stairs, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. And and some of them. And are, don't even get me started on how many ways there are to skin a cat because it's a lot. Oh, it's endless. But. Stairs, there's only 10 ways. Yeah. But they like stairs could be quick and dirty and easy and crappy looking, or they could be a staircase, like a nice feature of the deck. Curved. Which takes a lot more effort. Lot Rounded rails. Materials, et cetera. 